chlorine leaks are more likely to happen when the containers are being moved. Be sure you know how to properly transport, inspect, and store chlorine containers. Chlorine is shipped in containers ranging from 90-ton railroad tank cars to 150-pound cylinders. Each chlorine container must be properly marked and labeled in accordance with the Department of Transportation, or DOT. Each container has a specification number, serial number, identifying symbol, and hydrostatic test date. The DOT placard number for chlorine is 1017. The proper placard for chlorine must be displayed on any vehicle carrying chlorine containers. Most water utilities have chlorine delivered by a supplier. One-ton containers should be transported in a horizontal position and blocked to prevent rolling. Valve covers should remain in place at all times during transport, and the valve side of cylinders must face the passenger side of the vehicle. Sometimes containers are defective or become damaged in transit. Inspect each container thoroughly before accepting and unloading a shipment. Look for anything that may contribute to a leak. Watch for dents, gouges, corrosion, pitting, or bulges. Feel each container. If a container is hot to the touch, internal moisture or contamination may be present. If there are any doubts about a container, do not accept it. Refuse the container and have the shipper send it back to the supplier. When transferring ton containers from the truck to the storage area, use a proper hoisting device with sufficient lifting capacity. A full ton container can weigh more than 3,500 pounds. Inspect the lifting device frequently to ensure that the cables, clamps, and lifting bars are in good condition. Always document your inspections. Use extreme care when handling containers. Never stand under a container on a hoist, and when possible, never hoist a container over another, especially one that is online. Move 150-pound cylinders by clamping or chaining them to a hand truck. Never attempt to lift or move a cylinder by the valve cover. Store cylinders securely so they won't tip over, and keep the valve covers on to prevent damage to the valve. When possible, chlorine ton containers, especially those online, should also be secured in place on trunnions. Chlorine cylinders and containers should be labeled as full or empty. Chlorine containers can be stored either inside or outside. But make sure that the container is not stored below ground level, such as in a basement, Containers stored outside should be shaded from direct sunlight, and the storage area should be well maintained to prevent a fire hazard.